Welcome to Unicorns Talk Podcast, your weekly girl talk about black women, our healing, and manifestation. My name is Latrice Sampson Richards, your life enhancement coach, and together we're going to live, laugh, and learn to love all of life's little messes. While I am a licensed clinician, please keep in mind that this show is not a substitute for your own relationship with a mental health provider. Let's go. Hello, 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 people. Thank you so much for tuning in to episode 42 of Unicorns Talk Podcast. My name is Latrice Sampson Richards. And of course, I'm always happy to be here with you all. Um, You know, this week has been, um, it's been an interesting week. You know, one of the things that uh, is important to me is to create a space where I can share my journey with you all because I'm asking y'all to share y'all journey with me. And so, you know, I feel like I can't, I can't be asking y'all to share y'all journey with me if I'm not willing to share my journey with y'all. And so this week has been a very, very interesting week. Um, I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to talk about today. And so, you know, as I was coming up with uh, my topic for today, I was just like, you know, I feel like I just want to kind of talk about life. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Like, I just, I just kind of want to talk about life because that's where I am today. That's, that's where I am this week. That's where I am right now. You know, um, you know, this week I definitely was faced with some internal turmoil that I, I, I think I've been trying to put off for a while and, um, but life kind of has a way, (laughs) life has a way of forcing you to like get your shit together and confront situations and confront thought processes and confront experiences. And I'm telling y'all all all the time, um, whether it's here on this platform, uh, through the podcast or in my Facebook group, Trust Village, or in my workshops, in my seminars, in my tour that's coming up for those of you who are participating or who will be attending uh, a Life Empowered tour. Like we, you know, I I stress the importance of, um, acknowledging where you are uh, at all times and being present in that moment because that's the only way that we can really resolve things. We have to confront things. We have to resolve things. And that's the only way that we can really do that. And so this week, you know, I mean, I've, I've had some things that I've been dealing with, you know, on a personal level. And this week, I feel like they kind of came to a head. Um, You know, I've been trying to address those things, trying to work on those things, but um, kind of like a really not really, (laughs) you know what I'm saying? Like a really not really. Y'all do know what I'm saying. I know you know what I'm saying, because I know that I'm not the only one. Um, This is how we do things like this is how we operate, you know, it's like, yeah, I, I want to make these changes. Really? Not really, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, because the reality of making those changes, I don't know if I'm ready to accept the reality of making those changes. I'm not sure if I'm in a position to be prepared to, you know, like for, to be prepared for what those changes actually mean in my life in reality you you know and so um I've hesitated I've hesitated for a long time to really make those changes um in a serious way or to get serious about making those changes I think is what I'm trying to say and uh you know I have a webinar that I do I'm actually re-recording the webinar today um for my Trust Village ladies, it'll be available to you all really soon. But one of the freebies that I offer is a webinar called Change Gonna Come. Um, and I'm changing the name of it. It's it's being rebranded and everything like that. So the new name of it is How Change Works, uh, just like straight to the point. You know, when I first started, I used to try to come up with catchy, cute little names for stuff. And now I'm just like, you know what? People don't want cute names for stuff. People just want to know what the name of the shit is. Like they just want to know what is this? What am I going to get out of this? Um, you know, how, how will my life benefit as a result of, uh, participating in this? And so, you know, I'm over cute names now, but anyway, unless it's for my babies, because whenever I do have my babies, they're going to have some cute names. But anyway, that was slightly ratchet. Um, but y'all know that's, that's what it is sometimes. Um, so, 
I'm rebranding uh, my change webinar. It's called How Change Works. But in that webinar, you know, we talk about, um, I really break down like the process of change. I really break down how change works. I really talk about, um, I talk about the four key components of change that we have to be willing to acknowledge uh, if we are to really move our lives forward. I talk about um, the reality of change because so many of us do not have realistic expectations for what change looks like. And then I also talk about how to get your life on track, like how to enact long lasting change in your actual life. And so, um, you know, one of the things that I talk about, uh, one of the key components, the four key components of uh, change and the process of change uh, and how change works is the payoff. Uh, we have to be willing to acknowledge what the payoff is. And so the payoff, uh, and, and I'm going to make this relevant in a moment, I promise. Um, the payoff is what you are getting as a result of staying in the place where you are. Right. Because there's always a payoff. There's like what what is the payoff of not making those changes? There is a reason that we choose to stay stuck in a place where we are. There is a re even even if that place is a miserable place, even if that place is, you know, like a dark space, a space that we really would rather not be in, but for some reason, um, it's, it's our space. You know, I talk about the comfort zone and I say, you know, your comfort zone typically is the least comfortable place you can find yourself. It's not comfortable because it's cushy. It's comfortable because it's familiar. That's what makes it comfortable. Not the fact that it's the great, it's the greatest place in the, in the whole wide world. It's usually, the least greatest place that, you know, that, that you could find yourself. And yet we stay there for years and years and years. We allow ourselves to remain in that place, myself included, you know, myself included. Um, and, and why is that a part of, 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 really enacting long lasting change in our lives is really getting down to the bottom of what that is. It's the payoff. How, what are you getting out of being in that place? And so this week, um, I think that that was a question that, you know, cause as I'm preparing for the change webinar and stuff, cause it's, it's going to be today. Um, but it's only available to my Trust Village ladies. So that's why y'all haven't heard anything about it. If you are a member of Trust Village, then uh, hopefully you receive something in your email um, or you see it pinned uh, to the top of the, the, the group page or whatever. But, um, you know, as I was preparing for the webinar uh, this week, all this week, I've been preparing for the webinar and uh, the reality of change is our theme for this week. And so change has been a consistent, uh, it's just been on the top of my mind, like all week. Um, it's always in my, in my head, but it was definitely on the top of my mind, um, all this week. And, uh, that's one of the things that I really love about doing this show and, and doing the work that I do and, and just really building this, uh, practice, building this business, the way, you know, building this brand, the way that I'm building it, because it allows me to interject pieces of myself, which is important to me, you know, um, and I benefit from like I benefit from these talks and these lessons just as much as y'all do, you know, and I try to share that with y'all whenever I can. Um, as I was preparing for the webinar this week, uh, talking about change and really kind of reminding myself uh, about how change works and the reality of change and these components of change and things like that. I think it really brought to light um, some of my struggles with some things that I've been trying to change, some things that I've really been trying to work on, specifically as it relates to my personal professional goals. Um, you know, I, 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 it's been a journey for me. I've been on this journey for a long time and there are certain, I've made a significant amount of progress, but there are certain pieces of this journey that 
I just have not been able to figure out for myself. The information that I teach to you all are the parts that I've learned, are the parts that I've gotten figured out, are the parts that I've duplicated uh, with clients and, and you know, with, with other people and have seen other people have success. So I know these things to be true, um, things that I've, I've utilized, utilized in my own life. Um, and, and so I know that these things are universal truths. I know that these things are techniques that actually work. I know that these things are the real deal. I'm not teaching y'all nothing that I don't know for sure. Um, but as I continue to grow, I, I want to continue to share that with y'all, you know, um, I'm just at a different place in my journey. And so some of the things that I'm dealing with right now are like my second level kind of things, you know, and, um, reminding, being reminded this week of the reality of change and how change works, I think it really forced me to have to confront um, some of my payoffs. You know, it forced me to have to confront some of the things that are stopping me from really being able to move forward in my change journey in, in certain areas, not in all areas, because, you know, each area of your life, you can be at a different point in your change journey. You don't like there's no rule that says that the entire like every area of your life has to move forward at the exact same time. It just doesn't work like that. You might be in a you know, you might be in a low point when it comes to your relationships, but you might be having the, the best year ever when it comes to your career. So not every part of your life is going to move at the same pace. Your change journey in each area of your life is going to look differently uh, than it looks in other areas. You know, like for example, my relationship, my marriage, um, my husband and I will be married two years on Sunday, which is insane to me. Like, who the hell? Like, I've been married for two years. Like, that's freaking crazy. Um, and the two and, you know, the two years have not been easy, but we are today at this moment, I can say that we are in a really, really good place. Um, and, and you know, we we are just we're strong. Our relationship is strong. Our marriage is strong. Our communication is strong right now. You know, we've had ups and downs. We've had moments. But right now we are in a great, great, awesome place. But when it comes to my business, I'm not feeling like I, I am where I would like to be. You see what I'm saying? When it comes to my family goals, right, in terms of making babies and stuff like that, I'm definitely not where I want to be. Right. So it is possible to be excelling in one area of your life and not in the other areas. Your change journey looks different in across every area of your life. And it's important for us to know that, believe that, and understand that, okay? But like I said, I, I've been having to really confront my, like my payoffs, you know, like really confront what is stopping me from being able to move forward uh, in my business life uh, and, and in terms of like my career goals and things like that, like something is holding me back. And, and I thought that I was addressing that. Um, but what I realized this week is that I wasn't. I was hiding behind the payoff. You know, I was hiding behind the thing that I was getting as a result of staying in this place. And I think for me, what I was getting was, you know, like deniability. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, because for so long I kept saying, well, I don't have the skills that I need. I don't, I don't have, like, I, I don't feel like I have the business skills that I need. And so I went about the process over the last several months, probably the last, a little over a year or so now, I've been intentionally investing in increasing my business acumen, right? So I've been taking courses. I've been trying to find business coaches um, and programs and things. I mean, I'm on a limited budget. I don't have 
angel investors and stuff like that. Like I'm self-funded, um, which I believe a lot of us are. Like when, when we're trying to start a business from scratch, most of us, I have a lot of other podcasters that listen to my show. Hey, y'all, uh, you know, talking greasy. Hey, Darnell, um, you know, Jaden and all of y'all. Like I know that I have a lot of other podcasters that listen to my show. And so most of us are self-funded. Most of us are paying for this out of our own pockets. Most of us, um, you know, as we are starting this business, uh, we are really putting an investment in ourselves. And so, um, you know, I'm, I'm no different. And so one of the things that I've really invested in over the last year, probably year and a half, maybe at this point, um, is increasing my business skill sets. And I've, you know, I've learned a little bit from a lot of different people. And some of those people, um, I think were genuine in, in their efforts to educate myself and the other people who, uh, who really, I guess, invest, uh, with them in their own, uh, business journey or whatever. But then some of those people were not as, as, um, genuine in their attempts to help. But I learned something from each and every one of those people. And right now, the coach that I'm working with right now, I have no doubt in my mind that she is, is you know, genuinely invested in my success and that she's going to help me get to where I need to be. So I, so now the, the, excuse of I, I don't have the business skills that's not a thing that I can say anymore that's not a thing that I can say anymore and that's and that's a good thing that's a good thing like that's what this is all about this is about removing your opportunities for excuses a little bit at a time well and, and I don't want to use the word excuses forget said the word excuses because it's not an excuse because at the time that I identified my lack of business acumen I that was I genuinely believed that that's what was holding me back at that time I genuinely believed that that was holding me back and the reality is that that was a piece of what was holding me back I needed to increase my skill set because increased skill sets increase confidence. And my confidence in my ability to run my business was not where it needed to be. Because my skill sets were not where they needed to be. So it was a valid piece of my puzzle. But it was not the end all be all like I thought. Like it was not the magic fix. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I thought that it was going to be. The reality is that there's some deeper rooted things that I'm just realizing I was trying hard not to have to address. You know? And this week, I think I became aware. Not I think, uh, I know. I became aware that I can't run from it anymore. I have to address it. I have to get down to the nitty gritty and really address the payoff. And that deniability is a part of that payoff. Um, and, and even, I don't know, I would even say for myself, I think a part of that also is, um, or is, is because I'm still working through this. Um, like I literally just like came to this realization on yesterday. So I'm still figuring this shit out <laughs> as, as I go, which is why I've been talking for like 18 minutes now. Um, I just kind of jumped straight in, didn't I? I sure did. Um, but it's, it's where I am right now. And it's, it's I, like, I usually do a little script and stuff. Um, but this is, this is not a script. This is just me talking, um, at this point. And I needed to have this moment, um, because I, and I decided to share this with y'all because I know that I'm not the only one. I know that this is something that we are dealing with. I know that this is because we're all on a shared journey. We're all on a shared journey. We're in different places in our journey. We're dealing with different situations, different names, different experiences, you know, like different contexts. 
and 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 things like that. But but we are on this journey together. This is a shared existence. This is a shared existence. So if I'm going through this, then there's no doubt in my mind that somebody on the receiving end of this is going through it as well. Okay. And so I guess the, the lesson for today, um, the, the, the point that I really want you to get is that at some point you have to confront the payoffs. You know, at some point we, you know, the, a, as you move through your change journey, whatever it is that you're trying to change, you peel this thing back like an onion, you know, a one layer at a time. And and the more you peel back, the closer you get to the core of what's going on. This week, I reached my core. But this has been a process. This has been a process. I told y'all. I started gaining, you know, I started actively uh, working on investing in my business skill sets a, a year and a half ago. So for the last year and a half, I have been working on just that piece, just that piece. And I'm not sharing that with you to scare you. I'm sharing that with you to snap your ass into reality, because we have unrealistic expectations for what this change is supposed to look like. And the reality is that change happens over time. It is an ongoing process. You will never not be in the process of change. I, I listened to uh, one, y'all know, one of my favorite podcasts ever, which I'm like, Lord, I'm like four episodes behind and it is bothering me like y'all would not believe that I am so many episodes behind. But one of my favorite podcasts is The Friend Zone and one of my favorite people um, quickly uh, growing to be one of my favorite people uh, is Hey Friend Hey. And um, I was listening to an episode from probably about three or four weeks ago because I am so far behind, but I refuse to miss or skip an episode. I'm not doing that. So I'm just catching them as I can. I'm going all the way back. I'm not listening to the most recent ones. Don't judge me. Mind your business. Anyway, but um, she was talking about, she was saying how, like they were doing a, um, it was from the beginning of August and they were doing a, just kind of like a mid-year review, right? Which is a great, great thing to do. I might actually do an episode on that next week um, and like really give y'all some tips and pointers because one of my friends uh, was, you know, had texted me actually probably three or four months ago now. And he was like, you should do, you know, you should do an episode about how to do a check-in, like how to do a self-check-in from time to time, because I think that's something that people need to know. So I think maybe next week we'll do a self-check-in um, kind of episode, like the ins and outs of how to actually do a self-check-in um, because it's a skill and a lot of us lack that skill. And so anyway, uh, so they were doing like a self-check-in, basically like a mid-year check-in, how are things going, how are you doing as far as your fitness goals, your career goals, your, you know, whatever, your relationship goals and things like that. And so Hey Friend Hey was saying that, you know, at this point in her life, she can honestly say that she's happy with who she is and where she is. And she was saying like, there's nothing that she's working on right now um, in terms of like healing herself, because she's come through a lot of, uh, she has come through a lot of, uh, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? She's overcome a lot in her life. Uh, trials and tribulations. That is the church word that I'm looking for, right? So she's overcome a lot of tribulation um, in her life. And she's very open about that, which I freaking, freaking love about her. I would love to interview her um, here on the show. You know what? I'm, I'm going to put that into the universe um, because I think that, I think she would be a great, great interview. But anyway, um, she's been through a lot. She's overcome a lot. And she has, for the last several years, she has been very open about the fact that she has actively pursued 
healing, you know, emotional healing, spiritual healing um, for herself uh, to, to be able to kind of pull herself out of the darkness that was her life, um, her upbringing for a very, very long time. And so she was saying that right now at, at this moment, she she's not she doesn't have anything in her life that needs to be fixed. She doesn't have anything in her life that she's working on healing or working on correct. She feels healed. And she was saying how she never thought that that was a place that she could be in and that she was so happy to to finally like find herself in that space and in that place. And at first when she said it, I was like, oh, I don't like that she's giving that message because change is an ongoing process like this, you know, because I'll be talking back, you know what I'm saying? They, I know they can't hear me or whatever, <laughs> but I'll be talking back. I'll be talking to the uh, to the radio when they talking to me and stuff like that. So, you know, I, at first when, when I heard her say it, I was like, no, Fran, you know, because I love her so much. And I I was like, I, I don't want her to give people the impression that like there's ever a point or a moment when you will not be on a journey, you know, because that's just the reality of life. And then, um, you know, a few minutes after she said that, as she was clarifying, she said, you know, I'm not like, she was like, well, you know, I'm not trying to heal anything right now. At this point, I'm in maintenance, right? Like things still come up life still happens, but I'm in sustainability. And I was like, yes, you know, um, because what, what that means is that she acknowledges that she's still on the journey. The journey is ongoing. And even when you reach your place of contentment, even when you reach your place of healing, when you feel like you have healed from all of the darkness that has followed you, when you have released yourself from all of the pain, all of the trauma, all of the expectations, the responsibility to hold on to shit, when you've allowed yourself to forgive yourself, to forgive others, to forgive the world around you, to forgive your circumstances and situations, when you got your finances on track, when you got the love of your life, even if the love of your life is yourself, you know what I'm saying? When you have uh, healthy connections, healthy relationships, when you are financially stable, financially secure, you've achieved your career goals, your business goals, your purpose, like you're walking in your purpose, you're living your purpose. Like even when you reach a place where you are healed, you are blissful, you are engaging fully in complete and utter life satisfaction, you are still on a journey. Because at that point, the journey becomes maintaining that place. Because just because you got to that place doesn't mean that the world going to stop fucking with you. That you're going to stop being under attack from time to time. In fact, I feel like I want to say when you reach that place, you know, it's it's going to come. That's when it's going to come full force. You know what I'm saying? So realizing that this is how change works, that it's an ongoing process, that you're never not going to be on this journey. You will just be in different places along this journey is an important part of the process. And I feel like this week for myself in my personal and professional life, I was reminded of that and I am being forced to confront some of the payoffs that I had been ignoring, actively ignoring, you know, like just really actively not addressing. Um, and you know, I'm excited for this part of my journey because I know that this is my breakthrough moment, um, not only in my marriage and in my relationship, but also in my business and my career and in my purpose in, in terms of the fulfillment of my life purpose. Um, it's the it's the last piece. It is. And I know it is. Um, I feel it. 
I feel it. And that's, and it's the most difficult piece. Um, but I'm, I am going to confront it. I am confronting it. I already started, um, you know, I reached out to my tribe, my core people. Remember we talk about your core people and your PRN people. That shit is real. Okay. I reached out to my core people and I got the love and support that I needed. And I am rolling up my sleeves and I'm going to battle. And I guess, like I said, I didn't really have, I didn't know what I was going to talk about today. Um, This is, this whole last 30 minutes or so has really been a complete freestyle, um, which I like doing from time to time. But, you know, typically I I try to have stuff prepared for y'all. But that's, that's, that's what I'm leaving y'all with today. I don't know why, but that's what I'm leaving y'all with today. And so, um, you know, I'm not perfect. Nobody is. Uh, this is my journey and, and you're on your journey. I would love to know how things are going for you on your journey. I would love for you to communicate with me. Um, I was talking to a colleague uh, in a podcasting colleague uh, a few days ago, and I was like, my people not talking to me. And he was like, well, you're not talking to them. (laughs) You know, like you're not talking to us. And so I am definitely going to try to do a better job of communicating with y'all via social media um, and things like that and making sure that you all like that. I open the door for you all to be able to communicate with me um, more easily uh, because I want to know how your journey is going. I want to help you along your journey. I love doing this podcast. I do. I enjoy doing this podcast, but the podcast has a purpose. The podcast is not just strictly for entertainment value. I mean, it is entertainment, legally speaking. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) Legally speaking, it is for entertainment value, but this podcast serves a purpose in my overall purpose. And so, um, you know, this is, I want to help y'all. I want to help y'all in whatever way that I can. And the only way for me to be able to do that is for y'all to communicate with me. And so um, it is my responsibility to create a space for you all to feel comfortable with that communication. And um, and I am learning the skills that I need. All right. Uh, I'm investing in myself and learning the skills that I need to be more comfortable with, with doing that. So y'all hang in there with me. Um, as I get this shit figured out, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, and we're going to make it happen, Catherine. All right. Okay. Uh, coming up next is high five. Okay. So there is so much freaking like black girl magic that's happening right now, people. And, um, I really had a hard time narrowing down today's, um, high five. So I'm just going to give a high five to all of the black girl magic that is taking place right now. Simone Biles is like winning all the gold medals, like just all of them. She's like, I'm not giving no gold medals to nobody else. I'm just going to take all of the gold medals. So high five to Simone Biles. Uh, Serena Williams is sticking her middle finger up to the man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Power to the people or whatever. Um, You know, with the French Open banning her black cat suit, um, which was designed for her by Nike. For uh, to help with her blood clots um, that she her blood clots that she developed after her giving birth to her baby, um, they they banned it basically saying you know like it's not respectful and this that and the other and you know which is some bullshit um, as usual just trying to police black women's bodies. Serena can't help it that she got ass for days and her thighs look like chicken legs. You know what I'm saying? Like she can't help it. She just can't help it that that's that's who she is. That's how she built or whatever. I said chicken legs, but I think I want to say turkey legs because Serena big thigh. You know what I'm saying? Them turkey legs be big. You know what I'm saying? Um, But, you know, high five to Serena Williams for saying, okay, y'all don't want me to wear my compression. I'm going to wear these fishnet compressions and I'm going to wear this big ass black tutu. 
fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? So I love Serena Williams. High five to Serena Williams. Uh, Stacey Abrams uh, won the Democratic primary for the state of Georgia, uh, being the first black woman to do so. And that is awesome and amazing in and of itself. Like black women are just so awesome and amazing. And I just want to celebrate us as often as I can. So high five to all of the black girl magic that's taking place in the world right now. Um, I love y'all. I love us. You know, we doing big things and I love us. And that's, that's, that's high five for this week. Um, reality check. I think I don't, I don't really have a reality check for this week, to be honest. I told y'all, um, this week has been a crazy week for me. And so, uh, I didn't get a chance to really plan out. Uh, I haven't watched, uh, Insecure just yet. Um, and so, you know, I, I don't have a recap for Insecure today. I'm sorry, y'all, please forgive me. Um, but I don't have a reality check for today, okay? Um, but next week, I got y'all, though. I got y'all, okay? All right. Um, if you haven't already, please make sure that you rate, subscribe, and comment on iTunes or, excuse me, Apple Podcasts or anywhere that you're listening to um, the show right now. I really appreciate it. Um, y'all have definitely, uh, well, you know what? Y'all have stepped up in terms of talking to me and communicating with me and things like that. And I appreciate y'all. Oh, um, August, the month of August, 2018 is, um, I've had the most downloads this month than I've ever had in any other month of uh, producing my show. And so thank you. I appreciate you all for that. Um, that is a major milestone for me in my life. Um, and so I'm truly, truly grateful for you all um, tuning in or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Tuning in, talking to me, listening, um, and letting me, allowing me to be a part of your journeys. Um, thank you for that. I, I deeply appreciate it. Don't forget that um, I'm going to be performing my show live in Atlanta at a Pod Connection conference for podcasters, radio hosts, and bloggers. It's going to be held from October 5th through the 7th, and it's going to be awesome and freaking amazing. The tickets right now are $15 for general admission. I believe that they are going to be going up at the end of this month, which is like in two days. So you can use my code UNICORNS TALK, all caps, two words, to get $5 off your ticket. Um, there's going to be a meet and greet that Friday. There's, they're adding some panel discussions and things like that, um, which I think I'm going to try to be a part of that as well. It's going to be awesome and amazing, and y'all need to come on out um, and make that happen. And while you're there, you can catch me on that Sunday evening at a Life Empowered Tour, which is my empowerment tour um, that is going to help you to get clarity about who you are, where you are, and where you're going. For those of you who are attending the Life Empower a Life Empowered Tour, you are definitely in for a treat. It's going to be awesome and amazing. Um, and so uh, I think I'm, I'm, I need to do, I need to make sure that y'all really know and understand what a Life Empowered Tour is. And so I'm going to be doing more things around that as well. Okay. Um, so we're going to be making three stops on the tour. New Orleans is going to be Sunday, September 23rd. Atlanta is Sunday, October 8th. And Dallas is Sunday, October 21st. Uh, tickets are officially on sale. You can head over to my website, latricesampsonrichards.com backslash a life empowered um, and get your ticket or whatever. And you can use until, well, for the New Orleans tour stop, um, the early bird tickets uh, are on sale until Friday, until the 31st. Um, so you can use the code early bird to get $50 off your ticket price. I mean, why not get $50 off your ticket price? You know what I'm saying? Uh, come on and see me. It's going to be awesome and amazing. And that's it. Shout out to Jaden Hollywood over at Unapologetic Podcast for always showing me love and for just being my brother in podcasting and, and you know, being a shoulder for me, um, a listening ear. I appreciate you, Jaden. Love you, boo. Um, shout out to Black Mary Fly Podcast. Hey, Candace. Hey, Trev. Um, just for being awesome and freaking amazing. Shout out to uh, Talking Greasy Podcast, uh, especially Darnell. 
for just always being so supportive and um and you know it, it's important for us listen I told y'all how much I love Fran and Fran is always talking about ecosystems you know what I'm saying and I love that uh within this realm of black podcasting we you know we are beginning to form relationships and and I feel like the relationships are organic and I appreciate that you know I don't like forced relationships I'm not that girl if y'all have learned nothing about me at this point y'all have learned that I don't fake well you know what I'm saying so um I love that these relationships feel like they are organically growing and um I'm looking forward to seeing where they go how they go how they grow rather, and um, just, you know, continuing to to do dope shit. Also, shout out to the Awakened Soul podcast, um, which is really good. If y'all haven't listened to it, please go ahead and check it out. Um, it's, it's, it's different, but I like it. I really like it. Um, and CMU podcast, which are um, two of the other podcasts that are going to be performing live at a pod connection. And so um, for that low, low price of $15, 10, if you use my discount code, you get to see all that awesome, amazing, dope blackness happening in one spot. And that's going to, I think that's pretty freaking cool. Yeah. That's all I got for y'all today. Make sure you follow me on all of the social medias. Um, follow the podcast at Unicorns Talk Pod on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Follow me directly at Latrice Sampson Richards on Facebook and Instagram at L Sam Richards on Twitter. Shoot me an email or whatever if you have any questions, comments, or feedback at uh, support at Latrice Sampson, excuse me, Unicorns Talk Pod at Latrice Sampson Richards.com. I love y'all and I appreciate y'all. And until next time, be well. Bye, y'all.